What's the crack, lads? What is going on? And happy weekend. If you're watching this on the weekend, this is a good time to get some good training guides for players, right? So whether you're a newcomer or you've been playing the game for a while, we have got three versions of what I think is one of the best free players that they have released in the game, Tosfar. Tosfar. So uh, we're going to kick off with Caicedo. This guy, lads, genuinely, I'm a United fan and I want United to blow the budget for him. I mean, he's young. He's an amazing player. He's super consistent. And I love him, man. I think he could be an excellent fit for United in that midfield beside Casemiro. But anyway, I digress. We've already covered Nuno, Bernardo Silva. And of course, we have covered Guler as well. If you want to see any of these uh, training guides, let me know. We will try and cover them all, lads. But we are going to be focusing on this box-to-box -box beast at the moment, right? So straight off the rip, we have him on A rating, which is huge. He also has possession game, quick counter, long ball, counter out wide and long ball, all in the 90s as normal. And he does have unwavering form, which is insane. His player skills are the only downside to this. Now, obviously, you can add five skills. I genuinely think, lads, right? If you were to be able to add, okay, if you were able to add one touch pass, um, fighting spirit, heading, sliding tackle, or man marking uh, instead of heading, and then blocker onto this card, I would think that you would have one of the best DMFs in the game that would, you know, probably compete with any epic or any legend. Um, I think he's just insane, especially that he's on A rating with unwavering form. We're going to train him specifically for that, for our ultimate version of him. And I'm going to show you that in a little bit, right? But we do have three different versions of him. So, yeah, I think he's going to be a bit of a monster for you if you do decide to get him. And I think he'll definitely be one of the best five stars you could get for free. So the first version of him we're going to take a look at is going to be, I would say, for if you are looking for a kind of a, a pure defensive um, beast, okay? So we're going to max out his defending with 18 into defending, but we're not going to neglect the acceleration and the stamina too much. We're going to pop 8 into each there, or sorry, 8 into dexterity and 6 into lower body. So we've got 80 acceleration, 86, 87 stamina, 77 speed, and then the rest of his stats are just normally kind of quite good as, as their base, right? So you've got dribbling, tight possession, low pass and lofted pass, all fairly decent, okay? So the real thing that you're going to be looking at here is because he's going to be on A form, we want to get that aggression up to as high as possible and then get the boost to everything else. So we're going to have low pass in the low 80s. We're also going to have acceleration, speed, uh, balance and stamina nearly, you know, all in the 80s and stamina probably in the 90 when we get that boost to the player form arrow in game here because he's on A form and he's got unwavering form. It means that you're going to have him up more often than not. Okay, that's a huge thing. Now, we do need to add a few player skills to this guy to make him truly like meta. Um, blocker is a huge one and I also would say sliding tackle on him as well because when we look at his actual player skills here, he does have man marking, but I think fighting spirit or slide tackle uh, on this guy with blocker would be huge as well as have a one touch pass if we could get that on as well. So that's one version of him. I think that if you're looking for a true defensive box to box, I would play him in a double pivot beside an anchorman and the two of them will just mop up so much loose ball that it would be a pain to play against you. Next up, we're going to take a look at a more kind of advanced attack and roll type Caicedo, right? So this guy is a, is a build and he's built for one purpose and it is built kind of like you would build, um, you know, a box-to-box, -box, traditional kind of box-to-box -box player that can do it all. So we haven't neglected his defending totally. We've got six into defending, seven into passing, nine into lower body, and then 10 into dribbling and dexterity, which is going to give us an eight, a 93 overall center midfielder, box-to-box. -box. Very decent player as well. Every stat that you have there with the player boost is either going to be in the high 80s or low 90s. You've got huge stamina, bags and bags and bags of pace, skills, everything that you need. Now, I would probably be throwing one touch pass on this. I would also try and throw on double touch um, or step on control if you could as well, just to be able to slow down the ball when you get it. But all you're going to be doing with this guy is bombarding forward and not really worrying about his stamina, which is an issue in the current gameplay. And then last but not least, lads, we do have what I consider the best version of him, right? So if I do get the five star after 15 games on my road to glory, I am probably going to get Caicedo and play him beside Kimmich or else Kamavinga. And I think he'll probably be there until I make the, you know, as, until I get up to division two or division three or whatever we get up to, as long as we continue to do the road to glory, okay? So with this player, the big trick to this is when we get the form arrow here, we're going to have the boost to tackling. We're going to have the boost to defensive engagement. That'll bring them all into the 90s. 
We're also going to have speed and acceleration all into the like low 80s. Going to have tight possession and low pass into the low and high 80s as well. Lofted pass, dribble and ball control, they're all going to get a boost. And on top of that, we've really got nice aggression with the 91 aggression there as well. Without going too mad with the defense. We don't need, you know, 94 plus on all the defensive, right? So I would say defensive, there's your build. Attacking, there's your build. Complete, well-rounded, there's your build. So that is kind of how I would, how I would, um, how I would kind of like describe them, right? That is how I describe them. As I said, I always use the Goldilocks system when I'm doing these training guides where there's a lot of unique players on display. And I would say that, yeah, defensive, attacking, and overall kind of like a box-to-box -box general that's going to be able to dominate for you, never let you down defensively, and you'll be able to cover every single blade of grass with that. I mean, the defensive version of him here is just lacking that little bit of stamina and balance, um, but this version of him here has got that stamina, has got a bit of extra on the physical contact and on the speed. So you will be able to, you know, engage a little bit more um, defensively as well. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be back a little bit and uh, I'll be talking in a bit. Peace. A little bit or in a little bit? Yeah, in a little bit. Don't forget to subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the videos. Talk to you in a bit.